Dear friends and family, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of Jason and Kim in marriage. In the years they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured. And now they have decided to live their lives together as a husband and wife. Jason and Kim, on this day of your marriage, you stand somewhat apart from all other human beings. You stand within the charmed circle of your love, and this is as it should be. But love is not meant to be a possession of two people alone. Rather, it should serve as a source of common energy, as a form in which you find strength to live your lives with courage. From this day onward, you must come together than ever before. You must love one another in sickness and in health, for better or worse. But at the same time, your love should give you the strength to stand apart, to seek out your unique destinies, to make a special contribution to the world which is always part of us and more than us. At this time, Jason and Kim would like to have a moment of silence to remember those that are not with us today. Even though they are not here physically, they are part of the foundation of this Kim and Jason, the people they are today. May we always remember Jason's mother, Nancy Simpson, and his grandmothers, Margaret Gardner and Hazel Ogden, along with Kim's grandparents, Irma and Francis Jasmine. Please cherish the moments of those who live on within our hearts in a moment of silence. Now I'd like to call Julia up to join her mother and father in the unity of their lives together. Jason and Kim, you are making a commitment of your eternal love for one another as well to your daughter Julia. Today you join your lives together. The separate layers of sand to be poured into this container symbolize you, your individuality. They represent your lives before today. I first asked Jason to pour a portion of his sand, representing all that you are and all that you will ever be. Kim to pour a portion of her sand, representing all that you are and all that you will ever be. And now I ask Julia to pour a portion of her sand, representing all that she is. Good. Your remaining sand shall now be poured together into this container. After this, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but rather will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so will it be your marriage and the bond of your family. Jason, Kim, and Julia, I ask that you blend your sands together now, symbolizing the uniting of each of you as family. It's all right. It's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> 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 Jason and Kim, you are here to marry each other, and it is your own heartfelt words and promises that your marriage will be defined and shaped. Being assured that you are aware of the meaning of this ceremony, I ask each of you to remember this moment. And as you proclaim your promises to each other before this group, the vows that will bind you together. Jason, would you please recite your vows that you have written to Kim? Since we first met years ago, 
We've had countless memories together. We've had, we've faced numerous obstacles and achieved great triumphs. So many things we have already experienced together. And I look forward to experiencing all these things and more with you as my wife. I'm so fortunate to have you in my life. I remember a conversation early in our relationship of your dream of getting married to your knight in shining armor. Well, this suit <laughs> I wear today is the closest I could find, and I hope that it's fitting of your dream. But Kim, in all reality, you've been my knight in shining armor. You've always believed in me, even when no one else could. You've carried me when I could not carry myself. You've loved me when I was unloved. You've given me confidence when I could find none. You have made me laugh when all I wanted to do was cry. You've helped me let go of the past and taught me how to embrace the future. For all these things, I am eternally grateful. You are my best friend, and today, wearing white, you are the most beautiful night I've ever seen. I love you so very much. Today, I give you, I give myself to you in marriage. Before God and our family, I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and bad, when life seems easy and when life seems hard, to love you when our life, is, our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and honor you always and in all ways. These things I give to you today and all the days of my life, Kim, would you please recite the vows that you have written for Jason? <laughs> side by side, we have experienced the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. If we could get through that together, we can do anything. We were meant to be together. You are the calm to my crazy. <laughs> I, Kim, take you, Jason, as you are. Loving who you are and who you are yet to become. I promise to be your biggest fan and your partner in crime. I promise to celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses as if they were my own. I vow to love you, encourage you, trust you, and respect you. With these words and all the words of my heart, I marry you and bind my life to yours. This time, Jason and Kim will exchange wedding rings, representing the vows and the promises that they have just exchanged with one another. <laughs> <laughs> As an outward reminder of our inner unity, as an outward reminder of our inner unity, as a symbol of my love and faithfulness, as a symbol of my love and faithfulness, as I place it on your finger, as I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. As a reminder of the vows. Place the ring upon Jason's finger. Please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As an outward reminder of our inner unity. As an outward reminder of our inner unity. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit my heart and soul to you. I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder of the vows we have spoken to you today. As a reminder of the vows we have spoken here today. <laughs> At this point, I ask both of you to join hands. By the joining of hands, you take yourself as husband and wife, and solemnly promise to love, honor, comfort, 
and cherish each other so long as you both shall live. Thereby, by the authority vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. And they kiss you both. It is now my pleasure to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Simpson.